Welcome back to Carnes Motorsports International Headquarters. As you'll notice, the garage is empty and I got a hungry rooster out there. In this episode, we get the Mustang loaded up, headed for paint. Stay tuned. There she is. She's all loaded up, headed for paint. Rooster's cackling. He's probably hungry. There she is. Got the uh, 275 17s on the back. 0304 Cobras in black. And the fronts are um, 255 40s 17s, I think. Um, yeah, she's sitting down. That's about as low as it'll go in the back. I'm sure the springs will settle a little bit. Um, there she is. She's all blocked. we got to throw another coat of the uh, high build on and block it. i got my youngest helper here. Say hi, Trippy. Hi. <laughs> um, it's my 18-foot PJ equipment trailer. Got that out in Bristolville, Ohio two years ago. When I bought it, I had a 28 footer. So if I was to do it again, I would buy a probably buy a 20. But at the time I had the 28 footer, well, I sold that. And uh, all I got's my 18 footer. Um, I built the sides for it. And then that's a Smitty built 12,000 pound uh, X2O winch with the synthetic rope on it. We have the X. My dad has the XCR with a metal cable on it, and it's a hell of a winch. Um, pulls anything we've ever needed it to pull, but the metal cable is kind of a pain in the ass. So I figured I'd try the synthetic rope on this one. Plus, it has the wireless controller, which is awesome, but it's pretty easy to lose. Um, hooked up the old 92F250. It's only going a quarter mile up the road, so it's just barely strapped, but. Yeah, it's kind of an exciting day. Take it up to Dad's where we're going to paint it, put it on the lift, and rip all the suspension back out from under it that we just put in it yesterday. But anyways, there she is. And uh, we'll uh, reconvene when we get, get her to where she's going. There she is. Tune in next time. We'll have some more paint on it. Thanks for watching.